What's up guys, Rai here and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to make your automation cars electric for BeamNG Drive. So in my previous video, I made an electric car in automation and BeamNG and tested it and drove it around. And I said in the video that I was going to show you guys how to make your car electric and I absolutely forgot. So what we're doing is a short tutorial. There's also a few things you can do to make your car actually better. And I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So obviously the first thing you want is to have automation open. You want to have the newest version of the game. You go to car designer here. You obviously choose your car. I've got a few of the same car, different sort of tunes and different versions of it. So we're going for this model here, the Jamboree electric SUV. So the car is loaded up now. There is nothing special you need to do with your car at all. So basically you can just have a regular automation car. It has around 1,300 pound feet of torque. Your horsepower numbers in automation will not be the same as your BMG horsepower. Um, your torque will be the same, but it will be different. So the power curve gets totally changed. So what it does is it takes your car's peak torque and it stretches the peak torque out into a more electric car power band. Uh, very similar to the actual electric cars in BeamNG Drive. The only thing you guys need to do at all to make your car electric in BeamNG is type in exclamation point EV exclamation point. That is it. There is nothing else you need to do. I'll go ahead and show you guys what this car looks like in BeamNG Drive. So we're going to go ahead and export the car. This is going to be the Jamboree electric SUV. We can go for some unbreakable fixtures and just because we're going to go export the car and then we'll hop into BeamNG Drive and I'll show you guys how it looks here. There's going to be no changes at all. I'm not going to tweak anything at all. We're going to hop right into BeamNG Drive. All right, so we're in BeamNG Drive. I haven't tweaked anything at all for the car. So let's go ahead to free roam here. We're going to hop into just the grid map pure. The car is extremely quiet and it's not ripping at all. You might be thinking the car is actually turned off, but it's not. If we actually accelerate, the car accelerates. I'm going to go ahead and close automation though because it's a little laggy. So if you accelerate, it accelerates. So it is an electric car right now. It's quite silent, obviously. It even has regen braking. You can see here it's braking quite fast. I'm not, I'm not actually pressing the brakes, but it is decelerating quite fast. It makes about 1400 or so newton meters of torque and at peak around 1500 or so uh, PS of power. So around 1500 horsepower or so. So the EV conversion also changes your car in a few other ways. It changes your engine, so your engine is no longer there. Same with the exhaust pipes, they're not there at all. All right, so I've got two in front of us now. We have the Jamboree Electric SUV versus the Jamboree Super SUV. And you can see here the weight is a bit different. I heard so from I heard from someone that the weight was actually changed from electric to gas. Um, and it doesn't appear to be changed at all. So that's 4,805 pounds versus 4,795. So it's a 10 pound difference. Uh, both cars are the exact same. Uh, this one back here is gas. If we start it up here. It does have exhaust pipes. It does sound like a gasoline car. The weight seems to be about the same. I heard the weight was different. It appears that it's not. So this car is geared to 150 kilometers an hour, which seems kind of reasonable. I mean, the car does have 1600 horsepower, so it should go faster than that. But the gearing is 11.02 to 1. Now, electric car motors usually rev anywhere from maybe 10,000 to 15, 16,000 or even more than that. Uh, and in this case, our car in BMG rev to, I think, 10,000 or 11,000. So it's quite a high RPM for the motor. Uh, compared at least to the automation engine. So even if I have my automation engine at 6,000 RPM, my electric motor might rev to a different amount in BMG. So the gearing graph in front of us isn't totally accurate because it'll it'll be a bit different in BMG Drive because there's 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 most likely going to be a higher peak RPM. And also, obviously, since these cars are electric, they all have a one-speed transmission, so it's another thing to think about. Regardless of any speeds you put in the car, it's always going to be a one-speed transmission. You can also go into BeamNG Drive and actually modify the vehicle itself. So if we go here to BeamNG Drive, we've got WinZip. We won't actually click that. So if we go into the car itself, and I think it's right here, and then I think it is an electric motor. So if we go into the electric motor, we can modify things like the electric motor sound. I think there's three sounds. There's electric motor zero, electric motor one, and electric motor two. But I think we have zero, one, or two. We've got two here by default, but if we change the one or change it to zero, it'll have a different sound. You can change things like the uh, the one pedal braking and stuff. You can change the torque and how it's split and whatnot. So you can actually modify a bunch of things in the J-beam of the vehicle itself and actually affect the electric car. Uh, you can modify the rear and the front motors independently. So that was the rear and this is the front motor. So we got the front motor and up here is the rear motor. So you can modify those. And I think that's pretty much it. So you can modify your vehicle a fair bit, uh, at least in BMG Drive. Obviously with J-beam, anything's possible. 
But the easiest thing to do is just to go here into the description, type in exclamation point EV exclamation point, and then export the car. I'd recommend playing with things like gearing, uh, maybe wheels and tires and brakes as well, because the region braking is a little bit insane in BMG Drive. You might want to change your brakes and wheels to sort of compensate for that. That's it for this short tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.